Welcome to my void bow tutorial. This is my third tutorial on the bows. I already posted one about the wolf bow and the electric bow. If you want to learn how to do those, those are posted. But first of all, you want to make sure that you have the Wrath of the Ancients. You, you get this by just doing the dragons. There's three of them. One on the right side of the map, one in the main hall of the map, and then there's also one down in the triangle room. First, you want to go right next to double tap and shoot this marking on the ceiling, and then it should drop a purple arrowhead. You interact with this, and your quest continues. Not, uh, what? What am I trying to say? Your quest starts. <laughs> then you have to go in the room under the clock tower. I had to kill some zombies before I could open this, so I'll just skip to the point where I open it. Okay, so now that I have the room open, I can show you what I'm talking about. In the center of the room, there's going to be a purple box on the floor you want to try to stab a zombie to death on top of that once you kill it it should open up and y once you interact with it a urn will be in the bottom of it you want to interact with the urn as well it's pretty straightforward here once you interact with the urn it should flow out of the ground and say some gibberish you don't really have to pay attention to what he says until you get to the step where you have to listen to what he says. So at this point, it just wants you to grab the alien skulls. There's one right next to Mule Kick at this broken wall, one right next to Triple Tap on the broken wall right next to it, one in Samantha's toy box just resting there, one on a windowsill right outside of the main room. It's to the top right of the door, one in the sink to the right once you open the door to the teleporter room. It's sitting there right next to the rag. Then you want to hop inside of the teleporter because there's one in like next to the rocket too. But once you teleport, you want to run to the left of the rocket ship and face the back of his truck. And there should be the last skull right in the back. And once you interact with all of these, you should go back to the urn and there should be six different skulls. If they're not there, just check every place that I just named off. If it's there, collect it, it's pretty straightforward. This was pretty easy for me because I used my crawler space, which makes all the zombies into crawlers. It just makes the process so much faster because they're already crawlers, you don't have to try to make them. And once this step is done, the urn should say three things. Mine said heart, horn, and then it said crown. So what you want to do is you want to go in the room adjacent to the power room, and on the bottom of the knight statues, there should be images. You want to interact with them in the same exact order that the urn said. Mine said heart, horn, crown, so I had to go to try and find heart, horn, crown, and then remember what signals they said. Sadly, I had, I had a bit of an issue with, you know, ad clearing and stuff. And then this guy came out of nowhere and decided to try to kill me, but I ended him real quick. So once I got him out of the way, I went back to the statues and interacted with them. And the pictures that I got were claw for heart. And then I don't know what the one that I got for um, horn was. I don't know what it's called, my bad. I just called it Cabal because I play Destiny 2 a lot and it looks like the Cabal sign. So I got Cabal. <laughs> it sounds so stupid to say. I got Claw, Cabal, and then Tears. So what you want to do now is when you kill zombies, they're going to start dropping these purple power-ups that you have to grab really quickly. If you don't grab them quickly, they're going to go away and you're going to have a hard time trying to get them again because you're going to have to kill more zombies. So I recommend you try to grab these whenever they show up. You don't need all of them, you just need the three signs that you got from the knights. Once you have the ones that you need, go back into the urn room and you should have these signals under those skulls. You want to shoot them in the exact same order. Mine was heart, horn, crown. And then I had to translate them into the signals that I got, which were Claw, Cabal, and Tear. So I had to say it in those order. And then he should say, that is my name. If he said that is not my name, then you have to go back and see what you missed. You might have misheard him. If you misheard him, just shoot the urn again. He'll gladly respond back and say them again. And now you should see this kind of purple lightning coming out of the floor. In, in interact with it interact with it and the 
bow piece should come out. Go down to the box area, and the box is the closest one to the right of the dragon head. And just like the other bows, the box is a soul, soul box, so just kill zombies near it, essentially. Make sure they're in the square, though. And you'll know when your arrow's done, it'll do a sound cue, or it will just stop sucking up souls. But once you are done with the bow, just switch to your Wrath of the Ancients, and in interact with the box there's a lot of interacting here it should take your bow for a couple seconds and then your bow will rise from the box and it will be the void bow have fun with your new void bow if you like the video like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video have a good day goodbye